welcome we're here at the Otto Bolden Stadium we're getting ready for match number 10 in the National Youth Teams program it's the clash of the MVPs yes it's the Norton FA up against the Southern FA this one comes to the attacker good morning Doc yes uh, good morning to all still morning to Major Rock the region and the world um, wherever we might be viewed or seen um, what we have here today is a classic Norton Invitation level and judging from the players who are going to be exhibited I don't think I could what we have considered to be the better players starting with the better players for this match I mean Norton is a team um, particularly from Warner and Desai Gucci Joseph Pascal Giovanni as well um, so Giovanni Warner as well as Marcel so I've seen some of the better players for the North team on the pitch as well as the South team where Hannaway, Smart and Malik Khan, some of the players who have impressed us uh, are, are in the starting lineup and not coming off of the bench as we had seen in earlier games. Well, it's really a clash of the, the Titans here. No team wants the loss. Both teams, though, have put on a display of good football. The Southern team, their last game, they struggled a bit to get past their opponents. And of course, the North Zone team met an improving Tobago team that put up a fight. So this team here, I think this is going to be very interesting. We're seeing uh, the better player. We're seeing Mason, the stronger players. They are on the pitch. Let's see the result. The man in the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, there's been one change to the starting lineup. The South, Cornelius Hanoi will wear the number four. The referee, the man in the middle, Mr. John Barkley. We've got referee assistant number one, Melissa Aguilera, referee assistant number two, Delicia Roberts, and the fourth official, A. Smith. Remember, it's the NLCB, National Youth Elite Program. Well, North, we have seen in all the games so far, has had a great organization from very early in the game. Uh, South has disappointed a little bit, and they've taken a little time to, to get into the Wilson game. with the early ball across. Oh, just out of the reach. It falls to... And an early shot there coming on from Hippodit. So early signs from the Northern Zone team. Yes, they've started off in every game uh, quite well organized and pushing towards the other team's goal. Uh, that's probably a strategy and a tactic of theirs. South has taken a long, long time to settle down in, in a couple of the games that they've played. And off from his lines quickly is the keeper, but he's out of position. Not the best of clearance. He'll get to it first here. Trying to make a pass. Barging into the number nine. That's Kern Smart. Yeah. Kern Smart has finished smartly in a number of the games. He came on from the substitute bench last game and was able to help his team get the deciding winner. There we see Wilson. The early ball to Mason. Mason with an opportunity to run. He has a good turn of foot. He got the talented Hathaway for company. It's wasted inside. Ah, the early ball just cut out and cleared upfield. Good coverage by the South team. Uh, uh, Hardaway was being beaten for pace coming along the line and the central defender came across and did his job. You'll notice in this one, Wilson not starting wider. That's Josiah Wilson. We have instead Tariq Martin starting wider for the North Zone team. There we see the skillful Malik Khan. Taking it down on his chest. Warner. Nice link up pass there. Trying to. That was Rojas. Luke Phillip has shown that he has some pace as well. The keeper comes. Claims. Yes, little Rojas has. Uh he didn't start, I don't think, the, the first game, but has come on in the others and seems to have been doing a very good And game. that's a shot from Khan. Just over the post. Yes. Malik Khan showing vision there. Yes, he has the, he has a vision of, of a player several years above his age and he has shown us there that he has an eye for goal and will shoot at a moment's notice. Yeah. Young Haynes just straying off his line. Well, we re you will realize that that's one of his tactics. He plays very much like a sweeper keeper. Yes. Quickly off his line. But with his... Not the tallest player. And then a giveaway. But it's cleared up field. 
missing in the battle. Good skill turning away from the pressure there. So it's going to be a free kick. Molik Khan will be taking it. And just going out. So the South Zone team coming with some tactical changes. They're playing a much more direct format of football. The game just starting here. It's going to be a corner. We see the big guys coming up from the back. Philip will be one of the targets, but the ball is just cleared. Not cleared properly, smart. And it's going to be another corner. So South applying some pressure here to the North Zone team. They're not going to have it all their way. Well, it's good to see South settling down early in the game as well. So it looks like we're in for a cracker. Yeah. Jawan Bailey goes across to take this one he's going to be taking it with the right boot just getting a little problem with his run up ball is into the area though not cleared and back across uh, just over the head of everyone so hippodet gets the opportunity and there we see the beautiful link up play not quickly into attack mason with the opportunity to run he's got a good turn of foot the early ball across it drops to Wilson he has a very intelligent left boot teen up the left boot shot oh it's in the back of the net and now takes the early lead Josiah Wilson puts his team up goal for no and everything everything that goal scored by number nine Josiah Wilson everything about that goal so was one, was excellent seven, the ball was played out from Defense Hippolyte had played a short ball to his defender, a, bo a long ball up into the, the right side of the field where Mason was, had, had prepared himself well to receive it and then got the ball across and, and uh, uh, a defensive mistake. And, and there was Thomas, who there was Wilson. Uh, Wilson, who was there to take a, a shot, a wicked shot with his left foot that the goalkeeper had no chance. Well, Wilson has scored a number of beautiful bo goals with his left boot. Shows that he has a very intelligent left boot, this Josiah Wilson. So South is down early in this one. Let's see how they'll respond. And we see the North team trying to get their passing game going. He put it skillful. This young player finds Mason. Crudder. And just being cleared up. Here we have Martin coming across. Yes, and what that goal has shown is that if you are properly organized on a field and you have a, 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 a proper organization and shape, you can move quickly from defense into attack and have a chance on goal um, within a few seconds, having come from a defensive posture and with the proper shape and players playing to their position, you can quickly move up the field uh, as, as the North team did and scored an excellent goal after coming from defensive pressure. Yeah, this North Zone team have been one of the better structured teams in the tournament. Spacing is excellent and that was Warner. The ball through. Mason just getting it first. Ah! The keeper just able to come and claim. So keeper along under some pressure here he has that ball that dangerous ball that s slips just in behind the defenders and makes them turn and run here's mm, another one beautiful ball here Hippodes is in he's going to goal Hippodes with a shot oh just going wide he's looking at the referee pounds the ground in disappointment young Abdul Hippodes of course this youngster uh, from your alma mater yes uh, Everybody has been already talking about him at St. Mary's and they expect him in future to be one of the youngsters who plays for St. Mary's senior team at an early age. Yes, young Hippodit plays his school football for 
St. Mary's College. He holds his club football with Maestro. Quickly off his line. Headed on there by Mason. And we're going to see a battle between the number five, Durrell Young, and Hippodit all morning long. Hippodit is skillful take. Warner treads the needle. Mason skips past the challenge. Mason is in. Mason, oh! The angle was very narrow. A good save, though, by the keeper. But here comes Hippodit. He's got two for company. But Phillips wins out and then gets the corner. The train, sorry. Yeah, and there we see again the tactic of the midfielders from the north team. They're pushing that ball through in between the wing back and the central defender for either uh, Mason or Hippolyte to, to take on their defenders and turn them around and then come in along the byline and either take a shot or, or, or cross the across the face of goal. Yes. The North Zone team, you see them tactically shaped up different today. You see Mr. Ramdu, Kyle Ramdu, he's playing the number seven. He's playing a stopper, going back to help with defensive duties. He's teamed up with Jaim Jajam Marshall. We saw last game, Marshall playing on top for a forward position. So as you said, you like to see the players at this age play all the positions or most of the positions and we're seeing that in the North Zone team that players are being tried in more than one position. Yes, they are, at this age you have to be able to play multiple positions so that you, you increase your ability to, to play at a higher level. Ball across the area. When the time comes. Still not cleared. Jaheem. He put it. Oh, the spanner. Uh, but then he's just <laughs> ushered out there by uh, Tyrese Tom Isaiah Thompson. But Hippolyte, not afraid to put on the skills and drills. You saw first the Lasco fan, uh, then he went for the spanner. So all the tools he are taking out, out of the toolkit here this morning. Yes, the original spanner came from a left-footed player, <laughs> but Leroy Span. But now the spanner is coming from the right foot of Hippolyte. Yes, very exciting football on the pitch. Strong challenge, not giving any inches there though. Justin Alcazar, Alcantara, sorry. 